Okay, this is not your first page, but I think it's worthwhile starting with it. Um, Archimedes, look how long ago, two, 200 years before the Common Era. Era, so we're looking at you know 2,200 years ago, um, came up with the idea of a lever, or sorry, well yeah, levers, and uh, it is based on really this is torque, okay, and I just love, I love the line. I actually have it up in the classroom. You can try to find it. Uh, give me a lever long enough, and I can move the world. So, and that is of course mechanical advantage. If you had, you know, enough distance from here to here, and this was the whole world theoretically, with gravity, you could move it. Um, so that's Archimedes, of course, came up with the idea of levers. Anyway, uh, so torque. You've probably heard the term torque, of course, because it mostly gets used with reference to, to engines and such. And, you know, we're, again, simplifying it quite a bit. But it is, it is a, based on, it's a rotation. So it's, it's the kind of, it's causing something to move through rotation. Okay, so if you look at this, you have a fulcrum. So we're talking about levers, okay. And, you know, you apply a force to, to move some object, okay? And based on the distance between that force and the fulcrum, you you have, you can measure your torque, okay? So um, when we use the term torque arm, it, uh, I said torque arm was a distance, and that's the case here as well. So torque arm was a distance. Um, so how do you find, how do you calculate? Torque is something we can calculate. Uh, torque is force times distance, distance from the from the fulcrum. Okay, so this is a nice picture I find. So here's a force being applied to rotate the wrench. So the distance in in, in question is from the from the force to the pivot point, the fulcrum. And the force of course is whatever force you apply to rotate something. Your lab is actually kind of neat. It's you can figure out the torque required to open the classroom door. So it's not really a lever, but now there's a wrench, but it kind of it is, right? <laughs> um, the units for torque are just newton meters. Period. So newtons times meters. Okay. Um, so for example, if I said torque is 50 newton meters, that's how you'd say it. So just a little example with this particular situation. If we knew the torque required was 100 newton meters. And how much force will Ferd have to apply to turn the nut if he holds the wrench 20 centimeters? So if he holds it here, how much force does he need? And then, you know, then what if he pulls in and he holds it right here, 10 centimeters? How much force does he need? And this is more or less the question I get to uh, with, the, with the door. That's part of your lab for this unit, for this lesson. So how much force will Ferd have to apply to turn the nut if he holds it 20 centimeters? And you can make a guess yourself. The torque is constant. The torque required to rotate this wrench or to open the classroom door is a is a number. It's a constant, right? Based on where you put your hand on the door or on here, and where you apply that force, you have to use more or less force. And I think that's a very instinctive thing. You know that, right? If you could get this thing long enough, you'd have to apply less force, right? But it'd still be the same amount of torque. But the force you'd need is less. So let's just calculate it out. So if if you knew the torque, if that was the starting point, then um, for part A, we are given the torque of 100, new, uh, 100 newton meters. Notice I took that 20 centimeters and I put it in meters here, 0.2 meters, and we need to find the force. So if you know that the, um, just look back to the equation, the equation we have is torque is force times distance. So you could rearrange that to say force is torque divided by distance. I can write those out for you if you need, but um, so tor force is torque, and that's divided by divided by distance. So it works out to four, 500 newtons, right? So if you hold it 20 centimeters away, however, it's exactly you go twice as close, like you go to 10 centimeters, then you're looking at 1,000 newtons. And if you could pull it out to 40 centimeters, you'd be looking at 250 newtons. So you can apply less force by holding something further away from the fulcrum. And, and that really is, oh, there's my dog, there's Charlie. Um, and that really, again, comes to our community's point. There's a certain amount of torque required to lift the world. And if you had a lever long enough, you could do it. Now that's not true, but it's cool anyways. Anyways, that's the, that's the torque lesson, and uh, maybe you could try um, opening the classroom door. <laughs>